Hi, this is Stanley and in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at the drawing capabilities of the pen tool. Here's the pen tool on the left in the tools panel. One click to select it or just type P on the keyboard. And in order to start drawing with the pen tool, I'm just going to click on my page. One click is going to place a little blue square there. That's our first anchor point. Now wherever I click now, I'm going to create further anchor points and as I do that it's going to draw a line in between them creating this zigzag. Now this line is actually a black line and it's a two point solid stroke that is being applied to this path that I am drawing. Okay so we're drawing a path this path here is an open path it's an open path because we haven't continued to shape in order to close the path to create a complete solid shape then we need to click on the very first anchor point that we drew. I mean, it's fine as it is but if I wanted to fill that with a colour for example let's just choose a cyan for example you will see the problem I've got this nice line all the way around until I get here and then it's just open. Might be what you want it's not what I want. So in order to close the path, I'm just going to hover over the very first point, and you see as I do that, you get a tiny circle appear next to your, your pen tool there, a one click, when you get the circle, will close the path for you. And I know it's closed now, because if I click over here, it's just going to start drawing another shape. Okay, let me just undo that. Great, so if I now just select this, this shape that I've drawn, and then fill it, you will see it will look much better. I'm going to hit W to get a preview. You can see now a nice line all the way around, nice and neat. Excellent. So click on that and just delete it. So what else can we do with the pen tool? Well, we can also create curves. Now, in order to create the curve, the next click I do, I'm going to click and hold my mouse button down. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag it to one side. And as I do, I'm going to stretch out these handles at the same time, create my Bezier curve. Now these handles, I can stretch them right out and you can see the impact it's having on that curve. When it comes to creating these curves, it really is just going to take a bit of getting used to, but you know, Practice and play and you will it will soon come uh, much easier to you. Click, drag, curve, click, drag, click, drag, click, drag. Okay, so I'm going to let go there. Now the next time I click, I'm going to click over here. Now when I do click, what's going to happen is it's naturally going to curve round to that anchor point. And from this point on, I'm going to get my straight lines back. Um, that's great, but what if I, say, clicked over here and I drew a curve, and I, I didn't want to, this to curve around. I wanted to draw a straight line to here, and it's just not going to do it because it's just going to curve around. Well, what we need to do is we need to get rid of this handle here. To do that, I'm going to hold the Alt key down and click on that point at the end, and that should remove it. Great, so now I can actually just click over here and create a straight line. Nice and simple. There's one other way of doing that. Click and drag, got my curve, and before I let go, all I need to do is hold down the Alt key. The Alt key is to allow me to snap those handles at the anchor point, reposition it, perhaps point it this way, and you'll find if I click over here, I've now got my straight line. So, two methods to do the same thing. Okay, um, next I'm going to click and drag, and I'm just going to reposition my anchor point. I don't like where it is, so I'm going to click and hold my spacebar down and now I can reposition that anchor point anywhere I like on the page, perhaps over here, let go, so on. So doing well here, don't forget you've got your uh, delete anchor point by hovering over any one of these points with the pen tool and that will turn it into a delete anchor point. We can add anchor points by hovering over the path and then clicking when we see the plus sign. Okay, the other thing we can do here is actually we can uh, convert these points where we have, for example, here a corner point, a sharp uh, turning there. We can convert this into a curve. What we do is hold down the Alt key. This is going to give us access to the uh, convert direction point tool, which is also hiding underneath the pen tool, convert direction point tool. There it is. Um, 
the alt key, one click on that, and then we're going to get access to our handles. We can stretch those out and create a curve. Where we've got a um, a curve, we can alt click on that point and convert it into a corner. And here I've got to turn this into a nice curve and so on. So lots of tools we can use there. Don't forget you've got your uh, you got holding the command key or control key. We can click on a point, get access to the uh, um, direct selection tool, and then we can move these around any way we like. So we really do have full control over this shape, this path that I've drawn. Brilliant. So I suggest you pause the video, have a little play, get used to all the tools and all the various options, and then come back for the final part where we're going to put all that to practice. So here's one of the whale that I need to blow up as part of a poster, but on close inspection, I can see that it's not a very good quality image. In fact, it's a low res JPEG. Just to check that we are viewing this at the high quality, we are, so I am assured that that is not going to get any better than that. It's not going to take much blowing up before I start seeing a lot of yeah pixelation look at this it's really got quite a poor edge on that not gonna look too good on a print so I tell you what we're gonna do we are going to trace it we're gonna trace it and convert it into a, a vector image that I know I can blow up as big as I like without this trouble so first of all is I'm just gonna lock this object on the page so I don't Click and move it around like that by accident. So object lock or command L, control L on the PC to lock it. And now it's going to be secure. Great, next is I'm going to hit the P for pen. The pen tool, we'll click on the pen tool in the tool panel and let's get started. Now, it doesn't really matter where I start, but I'm going to start down here on the mouth. So one click, position my first anchor point. Uh, and it's got a, this is quite a sort of shallow curve, so I'm going to click up here, let's see what that's like. Click and drag my handle out, remember, that's about right. And then I'm going to try this curve here, so click and drag, and, oh that's the wrong curve, I don't want that. So I'm going to move my anchor point by holding the space bar, drag it over to the right, reposition it perhaps, let's try there. Not too bad, down a bit. I can get away with that. I don't mind it being slightly off, that, that's okay. And I've got this curve here, so click and drag. Now, problem here is I know that if I just click over here now, oh, actually, yeah, I'll probably get away with that just, but I think what I'd like is just to get that along that line a bit better. So I'm just gonna just remove that. So uh, Command Z to go back and back again. This time I'm going to click and drag, keep my finger on the mouse and hold the Alt key down, swing this handle around, shorten it and that's just going to give me a better starting point to get that curve. Yeah that's better, that's what I wanted. Okay and then I need to swing this one around as well because that's quite a, a tight corner there. It's still curved but it's quite tight so Alt, swing that around, Shorten it. Okay, so that's uh, giving us a good starting point to get around this curve at the top of the tail and click and drag. Hold the Alt key down, swing it around, shorten of that handle, straight line there. Click, stretch, Alt, rotate, shorten, and again. Great. And I click at the end of the tail. Click. Drag, Alt, swing it around, shorten. I do this in, this is quite a long curve, so do that in two sections, I think. In the middle, that's good. And click and drag. That's quite a, it's still a curve there, but it's quite a tight curve, so I'm going to shorten that with the Alt key, swing it around slightly. Can't really see what I'm doing, so I'm going to just zoom in using the spacebar and command on the back. Space bar and control on the PC, draw marquee and zoom in. Uh, click, 
drag a little curve and just close my path by clicking on first anchor point that I did. Great. So there's just that curve at the top there, but actually I think it's better than the original, so I'm going to leave it. So great. So the next job is I'm going to draw this eye. Okay, so for that I need the ellipse tool, which is hiding underneath the rectangle tool there. So click and hold and select the ellipse tool. Great. Now if I hold the Alt key down and the Shift together, that's going to allow me to draw the circle from the center out and the shift will constrain it into a circle for me. So I'm just, that'll do, just run it roughly the same size and then let go. Excellent. Uh, I'm just going to change the uh, the stroke on this circle. I think I'm going to give that a four point stroke and this eye is white. So I'm going to fit it full of paper. That's looking good. I'm just going to come out of there, hit the V key and select the path of the whale. And I'm going to fill this whale with a blue I've already prepared, which I have called Wally. There it is. Excellent. Uh, the stroke, I think we could get the stroke a bit bigger. And it's currently at two points, I'm going to get this stroke up to, I think six looks pretty good to me. Uh, I've just missed out that the uh, black spot of that eye there. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do is click on that circle. I'm going to alt click and drag to one side. That's just going to copy that circle. I'm going to remove the stroke. Don't need the stroke. And I'm going to give it a black fill. And then I'm going to shift click on a corner handle and just get that down to about, about that. A bit smaller perhaps. There we go, I'm just going to click to one side, and if I hit W, I've got a pretty good idea. That's looking pretty good to me, I'm quite happy with that. The whale underneath is obviously a, a bit of a distraction, I'm, I can't see its properly. So I'm going to turn the whale behind off, I'm going to go to the layers panel and just turn the visibility of that whale off. Then click away, hit W to get a preview, that's better. Fantastic, not bad. I can still do a little bit of editing around here. Don't forget you've got access to all those points with the direct selection tool. Uh, and we can edit those. But otherwise, I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so that's Wally the Whale ready to print. Now, I'm just going to click and drag over all these objects with my selection tool and group them all. So that's Command G or Control G on the keyboard or Object and Group. Now, if I make this bigger, you will see that it's going to make a no difference to the quality of that edge. It's going to stay a nice and sharp. In fact, I could blow Wally the Whale up now to as big as a whale and it wouldn't make any difference at all. So there he is, Wally the Whale as a vector, all ready to print. Excellent.